Then I will show you how to find the perfect sensitivity in Roblox Rivals as of 2024. So if you found this video useful, just drop a like, you know, subscribe, and let's just get started. You have your in-game sensitivity and you have your Roblox sensitivity. And what's the difference? Well, your Roblox sensitivity is this one, and your in-game sensitivity is this one here, camera sensitivity. And your camera sensitivity basically depends on camera FOV. Let me just explain this real quick. If you change your FOV, like let's say 80, your sensitivity must be higher. For example, 0.9. But like if you change your sensitivity to 120, your FOV, since you see a lot more objects, your camera is more zoomed out you need a lot more slower camera you know so that's why you need to lower your sensitivity in game but like not on roblox i think i'm done yapping let's just switch to roblox sensitivity your camera sensitivity here many people don't know that but like you can just instead of just clicking plus and minus you can just change it right here you know the thing is how do you find your perfect sensitivity well you can't just copy someone else's sensitivity you know and, and be like oh yeah that's good that's good and the main thing that no one talks about is that your character needs to do a 180 degree turn when you do a full turn with your mouse and what do i mean by that well basically you have your mouse space you have your keyboard you know and you have to do a full turn with your mouse and your character needs to do at least 180 degrees some people like 360 degrees you know but like personally yellow 180 because lower sensitivity is mean higher aim precision you know and um yeah that's basically the entire philosophy behind the perfect sensitivity if you found this video useful just drop a like and see you guys in the next video